So, six races from Carlisle now. We're going to start with a 0 to 104 mile chase. It's just a very small field. So, Stone Cold Steve Austin for Matt Cooper is our number one top weight. Optimistic Beach for Stu Gray. Hollywood Hinton sends two. Beyond Desire and Busher Blue. Alex Jerry's King of Windsor and Martin Leedham Cirque. Been around forever. Just make up six to go over this four miles. Not sure how much chat will go on. We need to wish Martin well. We've lost him on comms this week. Hopefully he'll be back for next week. We picked up, a, I think, a couple of winners yesterday. They're through the first of the 23 they have to take here, and it's King of Windsor of Alex Cherry that just leads us reluctantly from Optimistic Beach, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Blucher Blue and Cirque. And then just a length and a half back to Hollywood Hinton, second runner, Beyond Desire. So, King of Windsor. Anybody had a look at this starter's orders touch? Looks ominously scary if we're going from bars to stars, as they say. But maybe the PC game will be slightly different. If not, if SO8 is like that, I'm sure we'll be running SO7 for some time in the league. So as they get to the third here, we'll skip over that. A couple slow jumps from Beyond Desire and Cirque. So yeah, I'm not so I'm not so keen. I played a bit of the demo of the SO8 touch. I have to say it's a little bit confusing, but maybe that's just because we're all old and we should be more up to date with these very, I suppose, what you call them, these mobile games. And I, I can understand Mark doing it. That's where the money is in obviously mobile games for us oldens that like us a little bit more, I don't know, old-fashioned, I suppose, the old UI. But they're all still standing here at Carlisle for the Weatherby's Hamilton Handicap Chase. So I think come up to the winning post. We have a couple of more circuits to do. I've done about a mile. And it's King of Windsor that leads us from Boucher Blue. And Stone Cold Steve Austin. Cirque on his outside, Optimistic Beach on his inside. And just beyond Desire. straight now down the side of the course and it's pretty much as we were the King wins up by a couple to Boucher Blue and Stone Cold Steve Austin Cirque and Optimistic Beach together Beyond Desire it's 0 to 100 here hence there's not too many 4 milers probably under 100 well, it looks like 6 to be truthful with you because I think if there was more under. This will be a much bigger field. But King of Windsor for Alex Cherry. Leads by a couple of links from Derek Hinton's Boucher Blue. And Matt Cooper's Stone Cold Steve Austin. Optimistic Beach and Cirque. So Matt Cooper, who's obviously a WWE fan, what do you think about uh, CM Punk coming back? Yeah, no, I'm kind of a bit of a punk fan. They go over the seventh big mistake there by Optimistic Beach. This is just me and Matt Cooper chatting now. I think uh, obviously it's the Royal Rumble this week. I think, and then we've got uh, and we got the American Dream taking on CM Punk. I think they'll be the last two standing, but we'll wait and see. But I should get back to this because I'm sure a lot of people are not interested in worldwide entertainment wrestling. But it's this King of Winds that still leads back up the links to Boucher Blue and Stone Cold Steve Austin, Optimistic Beach and Cirque. And beyond, big mistake there by Optimistic Beach. Rattled it coming down the other side. They take this long sweeping right turn. So King of Winds are from Boucher Blue and Stone Cold Steve Austin, Cirque and Optimistic Beach and Beyond Desire together. get to this ditch. They will clear that as well. And there's too much going on in the forums to chat about. John Morgan's more than happy with his front runners. As they go to the 12th here, they will clear a much better jump this time by Optimistic Beach. So still got another 11 fences to take, just under the two miles to travel, and it's as we were. This is King of Windsor from Boucher Blue. 
blue and serpentine stone cold Steve Austin. An optimistic beach and beyond desire. Here's another thing for you, Matt. I see WWE Raw is going to be picked up by Netflix. So there'll even be more people cheering on The Rock if he ever comes back. But it's King of Windsor to Cirque, who's moved into second now from Stone Cold Steve Austin, Boucher Blue. They shuffled back a little bit. An optimistic beach and beyond desire. And still got a mile and a half to travel in a complete circuit. And another nine fences to take. So King of Windsor from Cirque, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Boucher Blue. Beyond is our optimistic beach. Been led throughout by Alex Cherry's King of Windsor. Well done for all the work you do, Alex, to keep the league ticking over. Both leads shortening a little bit now. Cirque just raises his pace a little bit. Gets within a couple of lengths now. Stone Cold Steve Austin follows him through as well as Boucher Blue and Beyond Desire. An optimistic beach. We've only got six lengths between first and last. So we head on out to the back straight. And it is King of Windsor from Cirque and Stone Cold. And Beyond Desire and Boucher Blue. Optimistic Beach. And we'll clear the 15th. It's good to see them all standing after 16 fences. A long time lead up. Oh, we've lost one. This optimistic beach that's gone went off out to uh, middle of that fence and through his jockey. So we're down to five. You all get money if you all stay on your feet. And we're inside the final mile. So King of Windsor leads him over the 17th. Take it well. A little slow was Boucher Blue. As the pace starts to lift now. King of Windsor from Beyond Desire, Stone Cold Steve Austin, and Sir. And they all dive over the 18th and they all clear it well. Just six furlongs to run. They come down to this home turn. The 19th, they'll clear that as well. So it was a little bit slow over it. Boucher Blue just spining his time at the rear. So King of Windsor off the bridle now. Inside the five and beyond desire and Cirque. Stone Cold Steve Austin a little bit caught between those two there. The one that's moving really well on the outside now is Boucher Blue has asked for a little bit more as we come down to the final half mile. And we'll have another four fences to take and it's King of Windsor that heads for home first, gets into the ditch well. So that's four from home and it's King of Windsor, Boucher Blue in second, Cirque and Beyond Desire, Stone Cold Steve Austin still needs to lift from there. But King of Windsor is the one that's leading us, Boucher Blue's chasing him uphill now as they come down to the 21st, that's three from home. And there's just two to take, and it's King of Windsor and Boucher Blue, Sir Beyond Desire, Stone Cold Steve Austin starting to pick up now and closing the gap on this leader has been there since the beginning. So with two and a half furlongs to go, it's King of Windsor starting to tire up front now as they go over the penultimate, very slow over it. And that allows Boucher Blue to take it up. Cirque between horses, King of Windsor still trying to hold on to it, pushing through beyond desire. Stone Cold Steve Austin needs to do a little bit more from there. But King of Windsor's taken on by Cirque as they go over the last, and it's Cirque that gets away from it best. It's this Cirque from King of Windsor and Boucher Blue. Beyond desire and Stone Cold Steve Austin, and I think that's probably going to be our one, two, three, four, five. Five, but Cirque's going to take this for Martin Leader from King of Windsor. I think he's going to hang on to second. Boucher Blue and Beyond Desire are going to find out third and fourth. Stable mates and Stone Cold Steve Austin's going to be fifth. So a good win there for Martin. Picks up a 0 to 100 Weatherby's Ham Hamilton handicap chase over four miles. Another winner for the Leadham Stables. Comfortably in the end then, had plenty in hand really, from King of Windsor, our long-time leader for Alex Cherry, was second, third was Beyond Desire, and fourth was Boucher Blue, both for Derek Hinton, and fifth was Stone Cold Steve Austin.